Que lo que mi gente es Big Papi Lee back again with another video. I know it has been a long time since I last uploaded, but you know all good things come to those who wait. I went through some things, but we gonna get through that later on in the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button and share it if you like the video. But let's get into it. I know, look, I know last time we spoke, it was my empty apartment tour. So I'm gonna empezar with the furnished tour. Are you ready? Come on. Right, so first, this is the entrance. One of my favorite mirrors, you know, you gotta have a mirror at the entrance, make sure you look good. <laughs> you know. Yo siempre me veo bueno. Then I got a little shoe rack right here. And then, you know, that's a fit. I might get another one, I don't know. So then we have the living room. My couches were gifted to me by a friend, Cassandra and Brandon. I have matching curtains I ordered, but I ordered the wrong size, so I have to change it. Y'all, you remember when it was nothing in here? <laughs> and the guy came and he provided you. Yeah, here's the TV stand, my PlayStation. I got this cool charging station from Amazon. An extra controller, the table, this, that table, this table, all linked in my Amazon storefront, link in the description. This painting I got from Family Dollar, I believe. And I have a basket of blankets for guests. And these are the good quality blankets from Home Goods and Marshalls. Like they have to be a certain material, you know, like, I don't know if you can tell how soft they are, but you know. You know, I got this painting in DR. I had the framing done here. This was my friend's mom painted this for me. So yeah. Curtains also from Amazon. And here's my backyard. I'm not gonna show, you know, the top for privacy reasons. But I got this set right here. And the grass. This set has come out so good, y'all. It's been like two years with this. And it's great for outdoor furniture. Also linked in my Amazon. Then we go to the kitchen slash dining area. I got the table and chairs as a set from Big Lots. This is my work from home area. I got that from Big Lots as well. This mirror was from Home Goods. We have the kitchen. I did contact paper. If you look back at the old videos, you could see the original countertops were not like this. But my friend and I, we did this together and it came out so good. And I also did backsplash and the top cabinets, that color as well. Here we have my bedroom. The bed was from Amazon. Painting I got in DR, also framed at Michael's. This mirror is from Walmart. This dresser is from Amazon. This is my smell good station, my look good, accessories, all that. I got this acrylic shelf thing from Amazon as well. Then I have, you know, don't judge me, it's a little messy right now, but this is also from Amazon, y'all. Everything will be linked in the description. Big difference from being empty. Then I have another patio. No, not too much, but 
it do what it do. One of the things that I love about my apartment is that I have both of the patios. I have three closets. Like, you know, it has its pros and its cons, of course, but I'm happy where I'm at right now. Um, this is not the end goal, of course. I want a big, uh, better and bigger apartment, you know, big boy apartment. But you know, I think all good things come to those who. You know, in, in today's society, we think everything is like microwave fast. You know, just um, like social media, everything. Everything is fast, you know. But in the old days, you had to work hard to get what you wanted, or to you know what I'm saying. You still do with like everything that I have is because I've worked hard for it. And you can have this and more if you work hard, if you set your mind to it, you set goals, you do what you need to do, you work hard. Obviously, if you can work smarter than harder, do that. But either way, you still have to work in some way for what you want. Nothing comes easy and nothing comes free in this life. Well, very few things do. But let's get back to the tour. And here we have my bathroom. Lazy Susan on Amazon. I got this from Home Goods. Home Goods. Walmart. Amazon. Amazon. I think I'm gonna. They have the battery, so you can just disconnect that so it looks like more sleek and clean. Only dollar. I love this thing. It just looks so good. And I attached that shower head. Also from Amazon. All right. So where you been? What you been doing? So I am currently working two jobs from home and one at the airport. I am just realized, y'all, that working is not for me. Like working for other people, it's not for me. And you know, I've been wanting to do YouTube ever since I was like 16, 17, like my dream was to be like a content creator, like Redman Rock, Tariq Ali, like all of them, or a model, which I know I can still do, but you know. <clears throat> so I hope you guys come with me on this journey, you know, help me accomplish my goals, reach my goals, and you know, you'll love it here. I realized that I disappeared because I was depressed here, you know, like, Moving by yourself is not for the weak, and it's painful, it's lonely. That's why people don't do it often, and people are scared to go venture out on their own. But it builds your character, and it teaches you about yourself and what you can handle. Like, when I moved here, y'all, I freaking... Boy, I think I told you in that video, but... I had hella flat tires. My dad taught me how to change a tire, but like, I never had to do it back in Miami. Often. Like, it didn't happen to me yeah you know what i'm saying but i have to change the time unexpected bills just came out of nowhere you know it ain't easy holding everything on your back today's economy baby prepárate if you're trying to move out you know what i'm saying like we all want to be grown and do our own thing and have our own rules and yada 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 but it ain't all it's cracked up to be now like I hit up my friend the other day from Miami and he was like, I was like, oh, you still live with your mom? He's like, nah, I wish. I was like, me too, child. And you know, I could go back home, but like, it's true. Like nothing beats the freedom you have of living on your own. But I think eventually I do want to move back to Miami. And life just be life in, you know what I'm saying? Like friends, I've lost old ones that I never thought I would lose in my life. and. You know, I feel like moving out here, it's like when you live somewhere for so long or you just know this one thing for so long, it's like this is the big picture and you're only seeing it right here. And then once you move out or away, you see the big picture and you're like, why nobody told me about this? 
I feel like I separated myself out here to so that I could find out who I am by myself. You know what I mean? Like, who is Lee Andrew? Who is Big Poppy Lee? Well, we know who Big Poppy Lee is. We don't. We didn't know who Lee Andrew was. But we finally, you know, figured it out. We still learning every day, you know? I feel like we be rushing to do certain things or to get to certain points in our life, but it's really, it's a marathon. And it's a roller coaster. And it's all the cliche shit people be saying. Pero es la verdad. Okay? So make sure you listen to them. Listen to me, take your advice from me. But you know, I also don't regret moving away because I've made genuine connections here. I've just learned so many important life lessons that can't I can't like share, you know what I mean? But it's just crazy how much stuff you like learn on your own. Get a therapist if you don't have one, highly recommend. I mean, once you're woke and like you realize all the shit that's not good, whether it be in personal relationships or yourself or whatever, like, you're just like, whoa. You know, and then that's why people, people don't grow and they stay in the same situations or the same mindset because they don't want to deal with the work that it takes to change and evolve and grow and do the self work within, you know what I'm saying? But it's very much worth it. I'm still working on myself. Like it's a never ending thing, honestly, but I'm just glad that I was, you know, led to it. But I have so many things coming for this channel and I've been working very, very hard, editing, uploading, uh, writing ideas down. So, you know, I hope you come on this journey with me again. I won't leave you, I promise. I have just so much planned and I hope you guys come with me on this journey. I hope we grow together. And I just know and believe that I was meant to be something big. I'm not meant for a regular job, you know what I mean? So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next week. Been dark, been the truth, been that king, be energy. I've been there.